standing just above the thing. Let's see if I can uh, get this picture. Oh, Gary, watch out, watch out. Nope, I ain't going down that one. That is a uh, deep old shaft. Slightly dizzy, Mr. Wilson. Well, you know why that is, because I've got pizza with jalapenos all over it. Whew. Right, back to the ladders. You can see the bridge from underneath there, look. Get a good look at it. Nah, it's looking alright, isn't it? Still. Climb over the edge. Then we can. It's only going to be coming up. Okay, if we look here, look. Looks like we've got a bit of leather boot. See the holes where the nails are in and everything. The old hobnail boot, isn't it? So if you look up here, this isn't the best of sights, to be honest. But if you look up there, look. Oh, it's going in the camera. See all these dead, just jam-packed up there, but nothing actually holding them up. Just hanging there. Not the best of sights, that is it? You're walking underneath them. So this is a strange bit, it's also a passing point for the uh, carts and things because you can see how it goes wider and then if you turn your big light on you can maybe see there's like double sets of, of sleepers here in the floor, in the ground. So it's almost like a passing loop. Got an old shoe, a real shoe, there look. So there's been a set of points or something here just to, uh, so you can pass cats. Now what we come to have a quick look at is this. We've got this hole in the floor. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you ain't going down there. So it's got the gate on. Let's put this down here. Nope, I ain't going down that one. That is a uh, deep old shaft. Yeah, because I remember seeing that on my me, me videos there, my me previous ones, looking down. I thought, wait, it looks fairly level down there, but that's not for, um, not for going under, is that? There's a bit more at the end here as well. What have we got here then? Let's come up to the end here. It looks like... Why is it being blocked up there, do you think? Do you think we could climb up? 
So come to here. But why do you think they've blocked that up like that? It's just sort of uh, ended. But why would they go to trouble and blocking it up? Timber there, there's nothing written on it. It's well blocked up, look. But it's actually properly bricked up. Yeah, strange. Should look up there as well. What's going on here? It looks like that's uh, a shaft or something. It looks like they blocked it up because of the shaft. That's why. It's a bit of a sump, isn't it? I'm gonna have a book. Tell you what, it's warm in here, really warm. That's, that's absolutely pumping. Well, after that jalapeno pizza, it might not be the only thing that's pumping. In a minute. Drop down here. Right, so from here then, I'm gonna head off and uh, I'll show you what's up that stop, eh? I don't know myself yet, so we'll go and have a buttress and see, see what we find up there, because years ago I remember going up there and it's just all sort of, uh, well, I didn't actually go right up it, I just went so far along and it was all stone, and I thought, I'll have a look at the, uh, you know, old pictures and stuff that I took. And now of course it's like, uh, muck, it's not stony like, as it was. So it's all been, it must have been, has it rained or something, it comes down there or something. I've never seen it happen, I've been down here loads of times. Even in the pouring rain, I've not seen water come down there before, but it's also come from somewhere, hasn't it? Yeah, so if you look at this, I'll run a bit of video from, or photograph, I can't remember it's a video or photograph now, of this before, and you'll see, see how it's all soily here? Well, it used to be all stone, so you'll see it on that. And then uh, we'll go and have a butcher's and see what's up there, eh? Right, let's go and have a look over here, shall we? It's a bit warm up here, as you can see from the lens steaming up. So you can see here, look, got plenty of this white deposit that's come down. This wasn't a shaft like I thought. Standing here, you can see it's just a little uh, rise going up. But then through here, there's a level there, look. See, just there. Put me light on it. There. Let's just go and have a look at that. So I have to slide down feet first. Oh, watch out. Now this happened before when I did this and not in here, but somewhere else. I end up falling a bit of a distance. Oh no, bugger, it doesn't go anywhere. It looks like a level you see because 
see the stonework there? That's what I could see. I think what it probably possibly is is the top of a, a fallen shaft or something. It's very soft earth here, but if you look there, look, you can see it's definitely being hewn out straight down. Very earthy. And then there, you can see that's completely blocked. Big timbers stuck up, look, out the ground. So the stuff did carry on by the looks of it. So maybe this was false floor again, maybe this is just sort of uh, all backfilled or something. But also, if I'm looking down, I don't know if it's easy to see on the camera. It looks like it would have gone down at one stage quite a lot further. I think it's probably another one of them square shafts. See there's a little hole there where they've had the, uh, the pick. Can't hear anything, there's no water or anything running. So let's work our way back up here. It's all very soft. It's like almost like sand. Hope well, my battery's alright, took a bit of a beat, bit of a beat in there. It's uh, it's just blind. Mm. It doesn't go anywhere. It looks like a shaft, but when you get to it, it's uh, blocked mm. with this like really fine stuff. The timber's stuck up out of it though. Standing just above. Let's see if I can uh, get this picture. Don't carry. Watch out! Watch out! Oops. Sorry Gary, you're probably reasonably safe there. <laughs> nice, I'll calm down. I'm just watching in case it knocks things down here because yeah. I'm going to have to put my foot on that ledge there. Oh, watch out Gary. There's going to be a bit more come down here. This bit's ready to fall. Should I leave it? Should I pull it? I'll leave it. Right. Cheers, thank you. It's all a bit... Uh, a big light off. All a bit precarious, isn't it? It's quite fun though. In here as well, this is from when it was used for by the cavers and stuff. Um, we've got these gauges that are used for checking humidity. And yeah, it does show um, temperature, but it's upside down if you like. So as your mercury goes down, it's actually getting warmer. Um, same on both sides. So you've got maximum and minimum. Minimum, maximum. And if we go close, you can see it's splitting up a bit. It's probably seen its best days, but um, you can use that to look at the humidity of the place. And we've got some samples down here. 
which is what they were checking. Now we've got a test going on here with different timbers. So these were placed three years ago um, just to sort of see how different timbers react to uh, to the moisture of mines and see you know how long they would last. It's interesting to note that one of them, which is the oak, this one here is oak. You can see we're getting sort of a strange growth going up the wall, almost like a spider's web. And it's all sort of living now on here, and it's going quite quite high up the wall. So it's interesting that the oak has, has caused that. But if we're looking, we've got other things. So we've got like um, what does that one there say? Sycamore. So we've got a bit of sycamore there, a bit of elm, a bit of ash. The labels will come off the other ones. And if we sort of look at what they're like now, the ash is, yeah, it's rotten, but it's not completely gone. Elm, it's probably about the same. Sycamore, yeah, a bit squishy. And actually, strangely enough, it's not what I imagined. The oak, yeah, it is harder look. But it's definitely starting to go, as well as the other samples and stuff. So it goes without saying, timber in mind, it ain't gonna last forever. That's for sure. And then once you come to here, we've got a traditional humidity monitor. It's showing about 82% humid at the minute. So it's not too bad, is it? I mean, yeah, it's a bit, a bit damp in it, but it's not damper than me damp back bedroom, is it? <laughs> Right, so the cross is that wheel band that I was talking about before. It's quite nice to come across it, I suppose. It looks a good photograph and everything. Still just sat here. It's looking a bit worse for wear now, though. There's a whole barrel of that's a long back. So we're coming to this was the old, uh, I suppose, workstation bit from years ago. We were doing all the caps and everything, so you can see there that if I put my torch in it. I think there was the bogey that was wheeled up and down. Obviously, the wheelbarrow was a wheelbarrow. And then, sort of the cross here. So, you can see on the floor here, there was loads of trestles and scaffolding tube. And that bogey used to be slid along to, uh, to take the spoil out. It also ended up in a wheelbarrow and down there. I'm not sure what this is. What do you think this is here for? I'm not really sure what that was. It's a nice there. Eh? They're like gurgling noise. So I'll just take to the end of this bit. Which will be to the, uh, the big fall. Which all really is putting into the mine, I suppose. So that's say that's been cleared a little bit. Just through there. You can see it's at the end here, these could be a set of ladders that would take you up um, into another chamber, I suppose, as you went over the top of quite a large fall. And then you were to drop down the other side and carry on. That was before decent cameras and you know digital cameras and all this sort of stuff. Um, I call it a Tamad and Lupa C1Z. And I don't think it did video. I can't recall that it did. So we've got a few old photographs, but that's about it. But yeah, it looks like nothing much has changed. Uh, the ladders seem to have gone. Oh no, they're still there. So we'll go up there and just see, see if anything much has changed. Yeah, so up these ladders, which were actually proper ladders before. Let's have that strange smell up here again. Just a moment.
Yeah, and then we get through to this bit. And it, yeah, it's still the same. So you can see how it's all been collapsing down. Now, years ago, that was actually quite big. I think we have to, uh, to easily pass through. I suppose you could still squeeze through it, but there's not a great deal on the other side. Right, do you want to have a look up, Mr. Mason? Yeah. Well, I've climbed down, so give you a bit of space. So, in here, we've got um, it's a bit of a storage area. A lot of old pipework. I mean, that is getting on a bit dark to be as rotten as that, isn't it? It's certainly been here a while. Just uh, like, uh, perhaps it's never been used, I don't know, you know, that could have been like just a store. Got a jam jar. Nelson's of. of England. Nelson's of England. What could possibly be in that? I don't know, but I'm not going to look at it. If we look at the walls here, turn my big lamp off. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but how lead rich this is. It's just sparkling everywhere. So we've been up here before, but we'll have a quick, a quick show you what's up here. Nice mineralised passage, passage, isn't it? I like white veins running everywhere. Ultimately leading to a bit of a fall. See this is a horrendous and <laughs> that's um, hopper look. So you can see the, the handles here and there. And if we look up Going right up to the top there. And our hopper obviously is used for a level at the top where they would throw the ore down and uh, it'd gather into a collection bin at the bottom, from which it was distributed into ore carts and taken out the mine. You can see that's possibly part of the door there, maybe, because it would have had like a flap underneath. Yeah, it's completely not really gone, but that would have had a flap underneath to. Uh, Allow the auto to fall down. She's well choked up as well, isn't she? So hopefully it doesn't come down because that looks um, holding a fair bit by the look of that. Can I get a photograph, Mr. Mason? Yeah. Look at all this here, just pure yellow. And it's coming to the corner, going on the corner. A bit of a change of the floor level there. We've got these little alcoves going off to the sides as well. Oops. Pretty much it's all looking a bit rougher here. So we've got another mind out piece up there. Here with the change in the acoustics. And we're continuing on down to there. Oop, I don't fall over. There's a bit of water in here actually. As you can hear. And then ultimately it comes to this and you can get through that. But it doesn't go anywhere. You can see through there if you want. If you look on uh, our friend's video, again, the link's underneath this one and he um, goes up through there, but 
ultimately it's blocked. Well, this is all exciting, isn't it? Bit of a moot round. So this video is going to go hand in hand with our other video uh, of the same mine. Um, it's just really an update, I suppose, and to show you what's down that shaft, you know, um, which I thought would be interesting to do. Yeah, I've seen these in, in uh, various mines, used for two different purposes. And they used to make a wooden box, um, allowed to those, just hold it together, and run water through it. And the idea being that the water would carry small bubbles of air through the mine. And it would release to aerate the mine, which did work to a certain extent. Um, and I've seen them repurposed for use with um, holding cables and pipes and what have you up from the ceiling and walls. So there's another one there, look. There's quite a lot of them here. So Tom and Gary for mine exploration. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks again to all of our subscribers for continuing to support the channel. I know it's been a while since we put a video up, but um, you know we've had a lot of work commitments and stuff on at the moment, so things have really gone through the roof for some reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, we've just been really busy. But uh, we're over 200 subscribers now, so I'm very grateful to everybody for um, you know supporters like that. It does mean a lot to us, and you know I just want to thank you, but thank you all for. Uh, you know, enjoying what you're seeing and subscribing, so thanks for that. Um, so hopefully we'll see you again shortly. Uh, like I say, we're a bit busy at work, but once all this um, stuff's gone through, uh, we'll be able to get out a bit more often and things. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody.